Let's do a little activation. This is what I got in mind. Let's engage our spirit. Um, several people recently have said they felt like their spirit looked like them. So if that helps you, let's uh, let's just use that as kind of our focal point to engage our spirit. Now we're not detached from our spirit, so you know this may not have a perfect application, perfectly fit in the big picture. But really, uh, I think it does help us mentally to uh, focus and highlight and begin our exercise process. So what I'd like to do is engage our spirit, fully recognize it, and then see our spirit with us. We're in heavenly places, and, and heavenly places are in us. It's both, as you guys have very well said. We're in heavenly places, it's in us, so we're kind of homogenized into one. And then what I'd like to do is we'll engage our soul and our body. So we'll take a few steps into that. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful, uh, heavenly charged time that we've been having. It's just so precious and tender. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your presence just permeating, just holding us and massaging us. Thank you, Father. So grateful for all that you're opening up to us today and in these days. Heavenly Father, we'd like to just step into engaging our spirit man. Thank you for just opening up the spirit realm, this heavenly realm to us. So we're grateful. So I speak to my spirit man and I just hold you in front of me. And if you're not there yet, maybe just uh, put your hands over your stomach. Remember the brain thing, telling the brain to be quiet. Everything to be quiet. Be still. Be still. Jesus spoke to the winds and the waves. Be still. Okay, be still. Now, my, my spirit man, I give you permission now to come up to the forefront. And you've already been up in front of us, probably most of us, much of our time today. Now, Spirit Man, we bless you. You think you might think of this almost as looking into a mirror. There's our Spirit Man. It's like us in the likeness and image of God. So it looks like God and looks like us. I bless you, my spirit man. And my spirit is with the Godhead. I'm hidden with Christ in God. I'm hidden inside of God, and, and he's inside of me. And my spirit, I just so grateful you are enjoying this experience this environment all the time this is your territory this is your reality and little by little it's becoming my more and more my reality in experience in the cognitive realm In my spirit, I bless you as you take the lead more and more and more. You take the lead in dictating, establishing, directing, holding up values in keeping with my Father's nature, and character, and will. I bless you, my spirit. You are getting better and better and better at that. 
Thank you for being a good leader. Now today, in my spirit, I, I want to just kind of in essence, this is not really true in the absolute sense, but just for the sake of exercise, I want to kind of look backwards, look back behind me, so to speak. We may find a better way to do this in the future, but I want to look back behind me and look at my soul. There's my soul. Remember, I've been telling my body and my mind to be quiet. And it's so think of my soul as being an obedient servant to my spirit. It's a comrade, a willing comrade. And my soul is desiring to walk in harmony in support of my spirit. And so I look back with loving eyes to my soul. And if you can, if you think about it, if you can put your golden imagination in gear, so to speak, reach down and just catch your soul with your arms. And my soul, I want to bless you to come on up in. Come with me now. Come with me. I want to bring you into the environment where my spirit is. Come join. Come join. Come right on in. You're learning, or speaking to my soul now, you're learning how to be much more compliant, willing, even eager to come into alignment and support of my spirit. Now, my soul, I bless you. This is where you're going to learn to be more and more comfortable, more and more empowered. This is going to become more and more your default. I wrap my arms around you, my soul. I wrap my arms around you and just bring you into this heavenly environment where my spirit and the spirit of God enjoy communion con continuously. I bless you, my soul. I want to just give you a heads up. Get used to this. Get used to this. This is becoming more and more our reality and where we and many of the body of Christ are heading. I bless you, my soul. Thank you for being willing. Thank you for being supportive. Thank you for listening to my spirit man before you assert yourself. I bless you, my soul. Now let's just do one more thing and just for the sake of a little biblical uh, context, I'd like to speak to our bodies, my body, and you can join me if you care to, if you're comfortable with this. But there have been some who said our bodies can't go to heaven. But of course that wouldn't be true with Enoch, nor would it be true for Elijah. And uh, I don't think it would be true for Ezekiel, who was grabbed by the hair of his head and taken through the heavenlies to Jerusalem, 800 miles away. So uh, I believe there's latitude. In fact, I believe that's a, a new doorway of understanding that Father's going to open to us. And it's probably what's going to be what is going to empower us to travel not only just in the spirit, but to translate in the flesh. So a lot more could be said about that. But again, let's look backwards, so to speak, because we've told our mind to be still, and now we've spoken to it. Now we speak, reach back, and we reach our arms around our body, our physical being, 
In my body, I bless you. Today, you've been a willing servant. You've housed me in a wonderful way, my spirit and soul. You carry us around. For the most part, my spirit's within you. Sometimes my spirit travels, but I'm just, body, I'm blessing you to be a great tent, a great house, a great host. Thank you. Today, I want to bring you up into the heavenly context. I want to bring you up into heavenly realities. So I'm putting my arms around you. And I bring you up. Come join me. Come join us now. Come join us. Oh, that's I'm just having a physical sensation there. Just come join us. Come join in with the Godhead. Come join in with the communion, the union that my spirit and now my soul are enjoying i bless you my body to come into this context into the heavenly environment where there's no sickness sadness disease death come on body come on come on enjoy enjoy the environments of heaven I bless you, my body, to be a partaker of his divine nature. Whew, that's powerful. Oh, that's powerful. I bless you, my body, to be a partaker of his divine nature. Oh, take it in, drink it in, ingest it, receive it. Take it in. Be a receiver of his divine nature. Oh, I bless you, my body. Soon, the threesome of us, spirit, soul, and body, will begin working as a trio, as a triad, as a working together in unison. We'll be working together as a team. I bless us, the threesome, the, our, my triune part of my being, spirit, soul, and body. I bless all three of you to walk in harmony, to work in harmony, to function inside of this heavenly environment of the Spirit of God and the presence of God at the throne of God. Thank you, Father, for this uh, mysterious and powerful dynamic of bringing our whole being into the heavenly environment. May this become more and more common for us, and we begin to do it not just in our spirit, but we do it in our soul and in our body. And Heavenly Father, one of my areas that I'm contending for, and I believe it's probably on the radar for all of us, is I don't believe it's going to be very far in the future where we're going to have some among us who are going to travel in the spirit and in the natural under the divine favor of heaven. And possibly, Father, what we've done today, the exercise today, will be one that we will continue, an exercise we will revisit to strengthen our faith muscle, to strengthen our ability to perceive and receive and have experience until we begin to say with all truth and reality, in you we live and move and have our being. Okay, now just for formality's sake, I just give my body permission in also the temporal realm and my soul, I give permission to function 
in the temporal realm also not to leave the spirit realm not to leave the heavenly realm but to be able to function now in both equally well Jesus being our great template our great example when he was talking to Nicodemus in chapter 3 of John verse 13 when he says I am in heaven Thank you, Father, for this amazing experience and exercise. This is going to be more and more common for us until we'll find ourselves, as Jesus said in John 10, 9, going in and out and finding pasture. <laughs> Father, your, your frontiers, your, your uh, horizons are just filled with fascinating, wonderful adventures. Thank you, Father, for all the secrets that you hold in store for us, and you can't wait to unveil them for, this, for us. And so we just kind of wrap up this little activation. Anybody want to speak into that? Mark, this is the gospel of the kingdom. This is the gospel of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. You just alliterated the path. And it cannot go wrong. And it will not go wrong. And every jot and tittle of what you said is going to be experienced on earth. May it be so. Mary Jane. Um, you just quoted the scripture that talked about going in and out and finding pasture. And it's just all of a sudden it dawned on me that we're finding pasture in and out. It doesn't make any difference. We don't have to go out to find pasture. We can find it in also. So. Yeah, uh, the Lord's going to unpack this more and more for us. Emmy, you're up next. Uh, the Lord's going to unpack this more and more for us to understand uh, the glories. Oh, boy, that touches me. The glories of God that he wants to have us host both in and out. And somehow there's a purpose for both. I don't I don't understand that, but you're on to something, Mary Jane. And the glories, though, uh, oh, uh, I got a whole pathway or a rabbit trail I could go down. And I would get too deep in that one, but it's a good one. We'll unpack it again. But that's good, Mary Jane. Thanks. Emmy. I was just going to say that I felt, I started to feel really super light. The closest description I can give is when you're, um, when you're falling asleep, and you have, I don't know if you've had that sensation where it's, it's like you're super light and you're like lifting off to a different, <laughs> a different dimension. Um, so I had that feeling. And I think it's interesting that that happens as we're entering into rest yeah. in the natural, that same sensation of entering into his rest, um, you know, in your spirit, man. Very good. Oh, boy. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, the, the picture in Claudia's room, the thing that just really gets me is that there's only one person there. Mm -hmm. It's not a bunch of people walking through the door. And the gospel of the kingdom is so uniquely personal. It is so, Jesus didn't die for you. He died for me. <laughs> Personally. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> for us, but for me. Singularly, he knew who I was when yes. he died. 
and we are that joy. We <laughs> are that joy set before him. Gives him as much pleasure to be one with us and then to be able to have fellowship with each one of us thoroughly. <laughs> You're bringing it home, Paul. You're bringing it home. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it just doesn't describe it. It just hooked up. <laughs> well, uh, maybe somebody of you got some thoughts. In the meantime, get your uh, communion elements handy. I think we've been having pretty good communion. <laughs> I was somewhere recently. Somebody wanted me to say something. I said, if I go there, I'm going to go backwards in our journey. You know, I would have to take us backwards to re... Uh, we would be rehashing where we've already come from. And... Uh, I almost feel like that with communion. I don't know if that's okay to say. Is that sacrilegious? Is that <laughs> is that shaky ground? Because I feel like our spirit man, spirits have already been uh, not just massaged, but co-joined, co-joined with God. Yeah. In, in, in memory of. In memory of. That's right. Do this in remembrance of me. That's right. Well, Jesus, you did it again. <laughs> Just look at you, Jesus. Just take a look at you, if you would. You went and did it again. <laughs> and we blame it on you. Yep, it was all because of you. Opened a big door. Maybe that's Claudia's door. You opened a big door for us. And we joyfully came in to you and you got to experience your joy that you saw before the cross you saw it maybe you saw it today I bet you did and you said you know you know what my dear friends my dear friends my dear friends are going to find another level of union and co-joining with me on June 1st, 2023. Wow, Jesus. So we remember that door opening that you did at the cross. And that was a long time ago in history. And that event that happened in our personal lives was also a long time ago. And since then, we've come into rooms and more rooms and more rooms of the kingdom. And every room is more fascinating than the previous room. You're holding us spellbound. You're holding us love prisoner. Because we don't want to go anywhere else. Like Peter, to whom else could we turn? Because only you have the words of eternal life. To Jesus, in remembrance of you today, we receive now your body gladly. Pamela, I think it was you that helped me with a song a few times ago. There is a fountain filled with blood flowing from Emmanuel's veins. And sinners plunge beneath that flood, lose all whoa, their guilty stains. A little too high. Well, today, Lord, <laughs> you know what, God, I haven't thought about sin once, not once today. And maybe that's First John um, 4, 4, 7, I think. Uh, I might have that wrong, but it's First John. It says, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus 
cleanses us from all sin. No wonder I haven't had a conscious thought of sin, Lord. Amazing, Lord, if we just get ourselves in the light, if we just walk in the light as you're in the light, it eradicates sin and sin consciousness. How wonderful, Lord, the cleansing, the purging and the empowering that comes from the light and comes from your blood. The blood of Jesus that cleanses us, makes us just as if we'd never sinned. And Lord, it's, that's the elementary stuff. Yes, it's still ongoing and it's still functional and it's still relevant. But this blood is the river that flows out of your side and out of the throne. It's the river that creates life and brings life. Oh, we love receiving. Today we're going to drink the river. We also like giving the river. It's wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. For your blood that's so much more than we probably could ever imagine thank you we receive your blood joyfully brand new beings sons and daughters of the living god they're coming up in stature from technons to we us, from adolescence to maturity, those that creation is groaning to see emerge on the face of the earth. That's us, Father. That's us, Daddy. That's us, creation. That's us. We're learning how to come into our full inheritance, our full identity. Oh, it feels good, Daddy. You're the one that established our identity. You're the one that calls it forth. You're the one that wrote it upon us. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. You're a great, great father. Amen.